Hey what's up everyone, in today's episode we're gonna add the jump ability to our 3D character when he's in the ball mode, when I hit the spacebar button we can jump so before we get started, as usual, make sure to hit the subscribe button, that helps me a lot and without any further ado, let's dive right into it so first of all, we need to check if we have pressed a specific key like the spacebar button to jump, we need to open up the controls input action Recently we have added the input action, sprint Let's add a new one and call it a jump For the binding I'm gonna use the spacebar button From the path property Let's hit listen, then space And select it If you want to add a specific key for the gamepad You could do that by adding a new binding And let's select a specific key Here we are using the gamepad And for this binding we are using the keyboard and mouse then we can save this asset after that we need to open up the player inputs manager script recently I have added this boolean sprint let's add a new one boolean and call it a jump let's go down and write the function on jump in such case we're gonna change the jump boolean before that this takes an input value then we can use value dot is pressed which returns true each time we trigger this action by hitting the spacebar button on the keyboard now we can save the script so that we can use this jump boolean under the robot controller script I've already added a reference to the player inputs manager and it is called input before that I want to add few variables to set some parameters like the jump height or the gravity value for that we need to add serialize field so that we can adjust these variables from the inspector and let's start with the gravity value I'm gonna set it to minus 10 and we're gonna need the jump height and let's set it to 2 units last but not least I will add a vector 3 to change the velocity of the character controller so that we can jump we don't need to adjust it from the inspector and let's call it velocity now we can go under the update function which is called over and over again and call some kind of jump and gravity function to check for that let's create it down here using void it is called jump and gravity you can check if input dot jump and I want to add it to the ball mode because we didn't have a jump animation so we need to check and we are on the ball mode using this boolean which we have created recently in such case we'll change the velocity y value and here we have a little bit of math we need to set it to mathf dot square root and we pass in the jump height times 2 times the gravity sorry here we have to change the y value to move it upward but this gravity is a negative value we need to add minus next we need to make sure to reset the jump boolean using input dot jump equals false finally we can use the character controller component to move the player using the velocity vector by calling the function controller dot move and it is built in here we pass in the vector velocity and let's multiply it by the time to delta time to make the frame rate independent at this point the velocity vector is not affected by the gravity we need to go on top and add velocity dot y plus equals the gravity and multiply it by the time to delta time to make it frame rate independent let's save our script and give it a try first we need to switch to the ball mode by hitting control and let's hit space and there you go we have the jump ability also we can move and jump but we can make multiple jumps because we are not checking if the player is on the ground or not for that I will create an empty game object under this ball to check whether it is touching the ground or not let's right click and create empty game object let's call it a ground check and make sure it is under the player by adjusting the y value so 0 is fine then we can get back to the script we need to add a reference to the object that we have created using serialize field we only need the transform component and let's call it a ground check and they want to add another boolean and call it is grounded and to check if the player is on the ground let's go under the jump and gravity function then I'm gonna use the built-in function under physics and it is called check sphere which will create an invisible sphere for the origin I will use the uh, ground check object dot position 
then we can set the radius like 0.2 the last parameter is a layer mask basically it creates an invisible sphere and if it's touching an object that has this layer mask it will return true usually I call it ground layer I'm gonna add it on top using serialize field so that we can set it the type is layer mask ground layer if we save our script and go back into unity we can specify the objects that we need to check for like the ground by selecting the player holder and we have this ground layer by default it's set to nothing I've already created this ground layer I'm gonna select it and it is assigned to the ground object which is this plane if you haven't added yet you could go under add layer and add a new one then make sure to assign it to the objects that are supposed as a ground and that's the optimal way to check if the player is on the ground now we can go under here and check if we are on the ground using this boolean is grounded in such case we will be able to jump using the spacebar button and that's pretty much it this is gonna work just fine but we can improve it a bit here we are applying the gravity to the velocity vector all the time we need to do that if we are not on the ground under the else statement let's add this line of code and let's go back into unity first make sure to reference the ground check object by selecting the player holder and drag in the ground check object I want to change the jump height to 3 let's hit control and there you go we can jump using the spacebar button I think that's all for this video I hope you like it if you have any question or comment make sure to write it under the comment section down below and I will see you in the next one